Hey everyone. Literally just dropped everything I was doing and starting to load up the car because the herring run started and it's kind of a big deal. So I'm loading up the car right now. I got two cast nets. I don't even have a cooler right now. I'm bringing this top that I just got from Target, but this is really exciting. I've been waiting for this herring run. And luckily I was tipped off by a friend that I met when I was chasing the herring run last year. And I'm heading over there right now to Point Richmond. And hopefully the herring run is still hot when I get there. Okay, so I just hit the road. Now on my way to Point Richmond. This herring run is a pretty big deal. Everybody and their mom shows up and there's a lot of competition, but there's plenty of fish to be had. So how I got into this was about a year ago. Um, I just started learning about the herring run through YouTube videos and I was really surprised that people were using cast nets to catch all these fish. And so I decided to try it myself. And I had been chasing, chasing, chasing this herring run, driving all over the Bay Area, trying to figure out where it's going to be. There were times where I'd show up and just barely miss it. There would be traffic on the way to the herring run. There would be. Or maybe they're all going to the herring run. I don't know. Delay of game. God. We got the whole pier filled up with people throwing cast nets. Forgot how to do it. Finally, this is going to take a while. Oh man, here we go. This is going to take a while. See, they're laying all their eggs on this eelgrass. It's all these eggs. <laughs> when you use a cast net on a pier, you should be careful about where you throw, especially if there's a lot of pylons sticking out of the water. It's possible that on your retrieve, your cast net could snag on one of the barnacles, or even on one of your throws, you could easily land it on top of one of these pylons. And the danger is that it could easily rip it open and cause damage to your net. And if you're casting from shore, you need to watch out for rocky structures underneath the water. An interesting thing about these herring runs is how it brings a lot of different cultures together. On the pier you'll hear a lot of different languages and you'll see families and friends just hanging out, having fun. And there are definitely a lot of curious onlookers who ask a lot of questions and want to know more about Finally, cast netting and me. even the herring spawn. So it's always fun to interact with people while I'm on the pier. While you're using a cast net, you also have to worry about the sea lions that are prowling around the pier. They'll usually try to get into your cast net to get some easy fish, or they might actually try and tear it. So usually when you see them, it's a good habit to try and get your net out of the water. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go. Okay, I'm back on. I had to patch my cast net because I got stuck on a pylon. I just found some random fishing line on the pier and patched up the holes. This is the catch so far. If you're gonna use a cast net off of a pier, make sure that you have a long enough line to reach the bottom. As you can see over here, I've had to lower my arm to make sure that the cast net reaches the bottom. I get a better cast net next season. Oh, here we go. This is today's haul. I could have caught more, but I had holes in my net. So anyways, could have done a lot better. Where's this? This is at Point Richmond.